In this example, we're going to show you uh, how to consider the temperature effect, uh, one is stress, deformation, things like that. As you have seen in the earlier explanation video, the deformation due to temperature can be calculated by delta equals alpha, which is the temperature coefficient or thermal coefficient, length and change in temperature. This is the same problem we are solving, the stainless steel uh, bar. And then we are doing this calculation. So you can see the same context, uh, but this time the temperature drops uh, 100, uh, 120 degree Fahrenheit. So for steel materials, the thermal coefficient is 6.5 times uh, 10 to the power minus 6. You can get this number from the appendix per degree Fahrenheit. And then the length of this piece was 3 feet. So we can convert that to inches by doing 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. And then 120 degree drops Fahrenheit. So if we calculate that delta, I have found that, let's see, 0 0.02808 inches. Now this is due to the thermal expansion, thermal uh, decrease in length. And then we previously we have calculated due to the force applied, 120,000 force, we have found that value 0 0.0186 inches. So this was an increase because of the tensile force. And this thermal temperature was dropped, so this was decrease. So the the change in temperature was change, sorry, change in the uh, dimension or deformation, a uh, change in length can be calculated by looks like the thermal change is bigger. So we're gonna do this minus the so this will be in decrease. And is here, e -A -S -C. So this is in decrease. So this was calculated as 0 0.00948 inches. So the final length would be L equals, um, it was three feet, so that's 36 inches minus this decrease, 0 0.00. 948 so that would be 35.99052 inches